Right, YouTube. Happy Christmas. Merry New Year. And all that kind of thing. It's Boxing Day. So it's not quite the time of, you know, for, for all that kind of thing. But yeah, we're out. It's Boxing Day. There's me and Marcus. Picture and cast is over there. You'll be able to see his outline because of his ivies. Not too sure how good the ambient mic's going to be. There's a bit of wind tonight. And I've distinguished, I don't know if you've noticed on the videos, there's a little bit of cracking um, sporadically. I tried to edit it out as best I can, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. And I've discovered it's a side effect of these directional microphones and the wind blowing across them. So I'm trying to situate the microphone with the wind, which is kind of, well, it's kind of swirling a bit, to be fair. I was hoping, and actually now, I might be able to get all four rods in shot for you. Um, but yeah, we've come to the wonderful, beautiful, bountiful Mablethorpe. Not that you can see anything because it's pitch black. <coughs> but yeah, we've, we, you, 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 yeah, something a bit different. We came this afternoon to do some uh, pumping. Basically, it's just, just, I'm still continual uh, effort of trying to learn how to bait pump. Uh, failed absolutely miserably, but we gave it a go. Um, so we've we've stuck about and we're fishing now the flood. Uh, that tide's really shifting now. Um, so I'll roll the credits. We'll have the start up time lapse. At the end of the start up time lapse, I have already missed a bite. do have to ignore the the flashing lights a bit too bit a bit well you have to ignore the flashing lights because we're at the top of the hill and it's rather windy up here and the wind is setting them off and that's that's all it is uh, but I'll do the best I can to show you as much as I can uh, yeah we'll go from there fingers crossed for some fish eh don't want another blank don't want to start a blank streak off Marcus? Yeah. Go the other side of your line. Keep going. Back there it'll do. Sorry. Um, we're trying to fish a little bit closer together because so you guys really like Marcus. Um, I've had a fair few messages asking about link to his YouTube channel. Once he's got some content on it, it will be permanently linked, as are the other East Coast guys, uh, Holden Us Codfather, Jimmy Cod Bites, UK Sea Fishing with Big Dan. Now, I know the wind just picked up, but there's quite a bend in that rod now. Um, Levo, John Levo's, uh, Levo's Angling Adventures or Len Len Levo's Fishing Adventures can't remember his proper name but he, the links are all in the video description do go and check them out uh, as of the time of posting this video so we are in, like I said, Boxing Day the 26th of December 2022 do remember my Olight giveaway video and the giveaway is still live until the end of January until I draw it you have to go over and check out the video it's about three videos back at this point. If you head to my channel, find the Olight giveaway. You can't miss it, it's in capitals, it's got stars around it. I'm trying to make it stand out as much as I can. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll roll the credits, I'll stop waffling on, and I'll see you in a bit.
we go it's not a blank I beat the blank and I have also had a knock on my big bait as well sorry Mr Whiting I'm taking my worm back because I can't get me hook we go and a little whiting as well not big fish but we beat the blank and you're not filming back's sake and you weren't filming. Marvellous. I beat in the blank. I got a double shot on my first cast. A little whiting and a dab that I've thrown back and the camera wasn't recording when I showed it to you. <laughs> so you'll just have to take my word for it. I think Marcus has got it on his TikTok. Yeah, it's on my TikTok. I messed up. I'll nick the video off him and I'll put it in. <laughs> God, these fish are freezing. There we go. We're off the mark. Good on you. <laughs> We've not started. We're not going into 2023 on a blank streak. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. On a good old bent banana. We did see a couple of bites on it, but I left them because I've got a three up clip down on it. Uh, straight black lug on each hook. Oh. Oh yes, oh yes, oh we'll have you! No way! We'll have you! Black lug! Oh no this is bloody squid, this is hooker's bloody squid. Oh man! That's if there's a fish on it mate, if there's a fish on it. This was out of fair way. I'm going to be winding for a while. Oh yeah, you got a big one on that. I felt something pull down then. It's still bent, it's still yeah, but it could be a load of weed. Holy Jesus, that's heavy. That is heavy. A bag of weed, a bag of weed. <laughs> oh man, this is heavy. I'm going to walk it back. That's a fish. But what is it? And you, by the looks of things. Looks like weed's going to be an issue.
Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting my rod tip down. Yeah, weed's going to be an issue. So that's one cast, three fish. Right, what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to retighten my line. I'll go down and then I'll unhook. Actually, no, I should be able to reel it all the way up now. To say that gives such an affirmative bite, <laughs> it's a little, little whiting. But I'm happy. A fish is a fish. On the panel hook. Where's the circle? Come on, show me my other hook. No, I'll have to get forceps. Swallowed it. This one might not go back. You what, sorry? Why? I think I might have Come on, turn. Where's the hook? Where's the hook? Well, we got the hook out. Fish looks a bit worse for wear. Unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> He says as the fish jumps out of his hands. Fish number three. Another little whiting. Gills are still going, I'm gonna get it back. Sorry, I know I had the headlight on then. Are you sorted? Yeah. Oh, I was just coming to give you an hand. Sorry guys and girls, I appreciate I had the head torch on when showing you that fish. So that's two casts. Alright. That's two casts. Three fish. Oh. <laughs> and I'm too hot for my jacket again. Whoa. I did. <coughs> with this bad chest oh with this bad chest getting all carried away all flustered I'm getting so I'll put some fresh baits on and get these resent And they were just on for them that's interested a three up flapper a three up clip down sorry sent at medium range probably i don't know probably 50 80 yards and then the other one is on a pulley panel sent approximately well by the time i've reeled it in it's probably sat at around about 100 to 150 yards because I've left it out for the tide to come in over it knowing that there was a bait on it with plenty scent because this bloody squid from hookers is is the it's it's the dogs it really is it's, it's bloody good stuff put no pun intended uh, it's uh, all it is you what sorry 
Yeah. Well, it was a bloody squid that got me my cod the other week. Uh, all it is is the squid. It's a packet of packet of squid, but it's been soaked in black lug blood. So essentially, you've got one bait with two cents on it. So instead of having to tip a, a squid or do a squid and black mix cocktail bait, it's just black lug. You just send in a squid out that's got all the smell of having a black lug, and I've dropped my black lug, uh, that's got all the smell of having a worm on it as well. It's a, it's, a, it's a great idea and it's worked for me now twice so for me that's kind of case in point isn't it I'll get this one baited up and reshot and then I'll come back and I'll show you as best as I can one of the bloody squids I mean I <laughs> I'm saying I'm sure you, all it is is essentially a red squid. You know, you can't really see any different. I don't look any different. But, but there'll be them that want to know. So I'll show you. only problem with clip down rigs is the tech friggin ages to get ready like a woman down in 20 minutes love hour and a half later get air driver on and then the weight because I do often every time I see every time I show these on video I get asked about them and they're, they're from a company called Sea Weights um, as far as I'm aware, on the trade on Facebook. Uh, and they're really durable, fluorescent LEDs. Not cheap. I bought them with my own money. But I like them. And then on the pen 515 mag 4 me casting i'm going from the <laughs> outermost silver ring one ring two rings down and that's the range i'm hitting with this and this has got uh asso ultra not ultra flex asso invisi silk which is a really thin diameter 0.2 lovely line I love it it's great uh, I wasn't able to get any more of it when it was time to reline take this squid off I mean you can see well you won't be able to see Come on, fishy! As long as it's not a ray! <laughs> You're not allowed to catch a ray! How pissed would you be if I caught one for you? Uh, no, to be honest, you know me, I don't get it don't it don't annoy me I'm, I'm happy you 
You know me, it don't work like that. Oh, tell you what's used bait, mate, make my life a bit easier. <coughs> so yeah, it comes in pound bags like all of the squid and it's just absolutely soaked in black lug juice there's a lump of ice there and you see the lump of ice is bright red and they're, they're a, a medium to small size squid individually and I'm just lashing them on as is <laughs> oh, this fucking elastic crap. I thought I've got a sharp point on me. No, it's just snapped off four times. It'll hold, I think. Will it hold? Let's put some more on, and then I'm gonna have to find some better elastic. I was a bit worried actually that I didn't have the hooks proud enough but <sighs> clearly I needn't have worried I hope you guys have been watching that other rod for me right, throw that in there throw that in there and I'm going to find another a different lead better clear this weed off first though, I <coughs> Not a different lead, a different, uh, different elastic. <laughs> Same fucking fish and chips, mate, that made your farts stink. What? Same fish and chips that made your farts stink. Yeah. That's why I'm going down there. You meant what, what? I've been chasing this fish wise. Why, why, what? I said, is this going to be another session like last time where I ended up chasing it? Like, hey. I hope so, because at least then you've caught some fish. Yeah. <coughs> right, well, turns out it might be worth filming a time lapse then. 
<laughs> I'll leave the cameras rolling because it turns out I think this is going to be quite a short session, isn't it? Okay. Well, we'll fish it down, obviously. But we only started filming an hour ago. Yeah. Or I only started filming an hour ago. Three fish, two on camera. <laughs> well, three on camera because you've got the other one on camera. Yeah. That's only yeah. It's only a little dab, but if I don't put it in, people won't believe me. Because yeah. I can't catch fish. Yeah, let's have a bit of a chill out music and uh, chill out music and time lapse. I'll switch in a bit. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that in the real Short little time lapse. Tell you what, this little tiny little whiting. Come here. Let's do it this way. Ah, pin teeth. Ow! This tiny little whiting. Give me a stonking bite. Let's get it back. Marcus is off the mark as well, so happy days there. I'm not blanking, Marcus in blanking. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a ting fest, but it's just nice to be out. And I tell you what, what a stunning night. I know it won't show up for you guys, but the, cl this, this, this is the, the sky is so clear. So, so clear. It's... Uh, it's a bit of a pretty sight to be fair and I'm wiping my hands on my jumper and I've got a towel outside of it. Oh, that's a bite as well. Right, okay, we'll have you as well. Might as well keep rolling. Might as well keep rolling. Let's have a look. It's slack line, so it could just be lead popped. Is it your lucky day? What do you mean lucky day? Not if it's whiting. Well, it's really light, so I suspect actually it might have just been the lead popping. Unless whatever it is, it's just swimming straight at me. Gives me a chance to relay the line. So I would guess from the feel of it, no fish. No fish. Looks like actually we've had a failure to release. Oops, no, don't do that. Yeah, failure to release. So it could have been pecked at. All right, we'll get this recent. At 
least we don't have to walk 10 miles to water anymore. Yeah, man. That wasn't the one I was looking at. <coughs> Reset the rig. <coughs> 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 Why can't we have, on the east coast, winter quality fishing in summer? Ooh, woo! Marcus has just said his rod's heavy. Let's have a look. Come yeah, on. Don't be, never mind, don't be weed, don't be me. Oh, your other one? No, I just planted that one out. Coming in a bit flat. Oh. oh dear God. The one I've just sent out with worms on, bouncing like mad. Tell you what, there's three work three hooks on that, it can keep bouncing. I'm gonna put you guys back on time lapse, I'm gonna sit down and warm up for two minutes.
Right. I appreciate over the course of that time lapse. Let me just check my microphones. Hang on. Yeah, we're all right. <laughs> the, the bent banana. That's the rod closest to you. <coughs> I've shown some major bites, <laughs> and I've kind of just sat and ignored them. Uh, it's too busy trying to warm up. That, and as much as I love the multiplier, the handle on the 515 Mag 4 is teeny tiny, and it, 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 it feels like you're winding forever. But we'll have a look, see if there's anything still on it. Certainly doesn't feel like it. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, that feels a bit fishy. Oh, no, it's me or the rig. I've caught myself, I think. Well, one at Riggs has got a fish on. I don't know which one it is. There we go. This will make up for the little dab that I didn't catch on film earlier. <laughs> Come here, you twat. <laughs> I think the dab is on the other rig. Oh, no, it's on this rig. There must have been somewhere else on to, for these bikes that I've been seeing because uh, they've been pretty major. Right, you can go back out. We've got you. And we've got a little dabby. That's two. Two little dabbies. How are you doing that? Because I'm a good fisherman. Because I've been fishing for years. Well. <laughs> <laughs> right rigs, right bait, right place. That's all it is. It <laughs> says. Confidently. <laughs> little dabby. Another little dabby. Very, very little dabby. Very, very little dabby. Let's get it back. Get it back. Let's get the other one in while we're here, eh? Seems as the line's all squiffy on it. What rigs are you using? One pulley pedal. Yeah? Oh, no. Single right. Are you sure it's a pulley pedal? Are you sure it's a pulley rig? It's a pulley, but it's got one hook and um, two hook flapper. With what size hooks on? Uh, small ones. Uh, one I'm using size ones. Ooh. That, and I've been watching my rods, not my phone. You I can't say you haven't been because you're on film. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're on film sat like that and for the last you, half uh, hour. I sent you the thing, the video. Yeah. And I've just put talk sport on. All right. That's what were you doing for other 45 minutes? Huh? What were you doing for other 45 minutes? I went on that long. Going. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. Right, let's get this recovered. Rig. 
squid. Just squid? Yeah. Oh. What was that? Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. Oh, lovely. Lovely big wind knot. Oh, no, indeed. That's a massive wind knot. And this is why I say to you, put me line down your when, line you, down. when you're walking up the beach with it. So that, all right, yeah. Because that is because I left my line on the beach. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sorry. It's gonna take ages to get that out there. Eh? I'll probably just cut it out. It's in there as well. Yeah. I'll probably just cut it out. Actually, yeah. this one. Let me hold that in. No, 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 no. I'm all right. You fish. Okay. If it starts taking too long, I'll just cut it out and tie my shock leader back on. that one out question is can I get the other one out so this one is huge and because I didn't know about it I pulled into it tell you what let's handball my rig in I'm just gonna cut it out me rig a ah. hey, diddle diddle Did it not?
in there for now until I go over to Marcus's rubbish bag. Because he's far more prepared than I am, always. Yeah, cut it out quickest way. Yeah, you lose you lose a bit of line, but it's not worth crying about. My bad. No, this this wasn't your fault. It's be, but what I'm saying to you is, yeah. when I'm telling you to put my line down, yeah, it's because that's what happens when you leave your line in the wind. When you leave loose line in the wind, which is what I just did. Oh right. Reeling that in, I left a load of loose line because I was sorting out the fish. Yeah. And it generates what they call wind knots. You didn't feed that to your eyes, did you? Nope. Oh, are you going to take it off the rig and then put it back through? Yeah, I'm just going to unclick the rig and put it back up, yeah. I need to find me, me, me bar thing. Uh, why do they make these hooks on here so big? Did my bait not release either? Bloody thing. I have to change this rotor clip as well. I'll pop you there. Sort you out in a minute. Must have been in this batch a couple of bad batch, a couple of bad rotor clips.
recall, after all this, that that wasn't a knot that came onto the reel. Now I might have to do a gentle cast, reel it in a bit, check it, and then resend it. I felt some at gaunt at reel. I don't know what it was. <laughs> well, I, I'm happy to call it a night whenever. Oh, I've had all right. an all right session. Huh? We've had an all right session. Yeah. Oh, but great, let's just send it. If it cracks off, it cracks off. No not. But that's all. So, importantly, I'm back out fishing. Open. That's squid. There we go. Hey dear. Is it me or the temperature dropped? Temperature has dropped. Tell you what, because at the end of the day, oh. he says down there somewhere. Might be out in a wee. Don't want to interrupt him. I'll shit and giggles until somebody giggles and shit. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to reduce down the amount of swearing I put on my video, so I do apologise. <coughs> Still on microphone. Oh, that's travelled a lot. That's really travelled. Ah, okay. I'll tell you what, yeah. do you want to say... If fishing don't turn back on it next hour, yeah. we'll call it a night. Yeah. Because we're out again tomorrow. Yeah. And Friday. Yeah. It's pointless throwing away good bait. We've caught fish, we've not blanked, we've had a day out, we've practiced pumping. Mm -hmm. Me and you, we've had a good pump on beach together. 
you with your with your with your big fat round one, <laughs> and we with a little diameter one. Mine's longer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's no shame in that. We've had a nice day out. Yeah. We had some fish and chips. They were all right. <laughs> And if, if, and if we go in the next hour, there's a chance we could go to the kebab shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're hungry, I'm not actually that hungry, I'm not but. I'm hungry, but come and put me back up. Yeah. You got salt. Who's sending you, man? Yeah. Because <laughs> chances are, I don't think anything in Mabel is going to be open that late. No, it doesn't look like that kind of place. No. Although, where those lads barreled out of that taxi when we were leaving Chippy. Yeah. <laughs> But I definitely think at some point we need to come and stay in one at guest houses. So I didn't realise they'd be that cheap. No, but I'm I'm game for that. So when maybe when when Danny sorts out this this um, teaching us how to come pumping, so that'd be three of us pumping on a beach in Mablethorpe. Maybe we book into a guest house and do a day's pumping and a day's fishing. Yeah, and then even come back the next day and fish. Well, that's that's or... that's what I mean. Yeah. So it's a high tide in the morning tide. Well, maybe. I there's only six hours between tides, and I don't. Uh... Well, it's only thirty quid for the night. Well, yeah. Probably get breakfast as well. Maybe, maybe. And at this time of year, I would imagine rates are at that thirty quid mark. So a couple of single rooms. Because uh... I'm sorry, mate. I love you, but we both snore like steam engines. Yep. We both. That's not a pulley, no. No. No, that's not a pulley. That is a paternoster. Okay. Try to change that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. That hook being right there is nice. Yeah. Because it's playing my scissors straight on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do think that there needs to be, I mean, I know there's the Ian Gold's rig bar, which I've got somewhere unless I've lost it on a beach. And you're supposed to be able to use these to hang your rigs on, but they're too low. Yeah. But to be fair, even a length of paracord strung there would be more useful for, wouldn't it? But then I suppose that's why we've got them in over bait stations. They're, they're chunky fuckers. Oh, I'm trying to cut my language down on my video and I'm recording. <laughs> those in over those bait stations. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're bloody good and they are bloody handy. They're just both the same length. But it's just, yeah, they're just a pain in the arse to carry. As you not know, as I haven't even been using the one that I bought, even the no. course angler one. But I might bring mine back out for Paul on Friday because that's only from Boo. Paul a beach? No. The wall. It's well, it's a cliff. It's a cliffy, wally, cliffy wall. Right, so I'm now wondering, do I go a squid, a whole squid? Nothing but a squid? <laughs> <laughs> I would. So help with God. Yeah, I would. Well, I've got muscle, but there's no cod, so. That we know of. We, that we, we know of. We didn't get through the whiting for a start. No. All we got was the pins. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's lovely to not blank. It really is lovely to have not blanked, but... <laughs> what on earth are you doing? You know, you pinch your sack bag and it's cold and it don't kick until afterwards. <laughs> I'm going to go sit down. I'm going to go sit down. Oh. TMI. Well, uh, oh, which one of us is driving Friday? Huh? Which one of us is driving Friday? I'm not fast. Well, will you have the fuel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's bitey. That's bitey. Calm, calm, calm. Stop panicking. Reel into it. Keep your line tight. Keep reeling. Keep your line tight. If it were only a little whiting, you may not be able to feel it. But that was definitely bitey. Mm -hmm. 
Will you have fuel Fridays? What what yeah. would we just say? Keep really, you've left you let your line go slack then. No, it's gone. Oh, yeah, it's gone. I lost it. Let's have a look at this rig. Okay. Okay, they are small hooks. They're smaller than smaller than I'm using. I'm using size ones. So they're possibly size fours. Which, to be fair, there's nothing wrong with. But for a size four, that bit's far too big and those hooks are bent. So I, 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 I don't know whether you've pulled on them too much when you were tightening your knots. It's yeah. what I used to do. I used to pull on them to pull on the hook too much and I'd bend the hook. Yeah. But those hooks are bent. Oh. I can bend them back for you. Yeah, please. If I've got a pair of pliers in my pocket, which I have. They may break. Doesn't matter, it's that's, no rig. That's better. But that hook's far too big for that for that that bait's far too big for that hook. I think I've got two on there, that's why. Yeah, it's far too big. Yeah, that one just snapped. Yeah, that's cool. I'll cut it and do a new one on it. Have you not got my three up flat three up clip down? No, you, I didn't take it off you. You did, you said to me the other day you had it. I don't think I do though. You literally said oh, to me no, last time it. we were out. Snapped off. Snapped off. I don't know don't think I've got another one. Right, so you're good to drive Friday? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So we just need to find some bait. Yeah, well, I've got no I've got quite a bit of, I've got squid, I've got black, I've got mussels. I've got squid, could just fish on squid I suppose. Yeah, if nothing else I could just fish on squid. Do a go big or go home session I suppose. Yeah. Right, so yeah, we're going to give it another hour, it's gone, it's gone dead quiet. We're getting bites. We're getting bites, as you've just heard us discuss basically. We're getting bites. But beyond that, there's not there's nothing on them. Uh, it's only tiddlers we're bringing in. I mean it's great fishing and it's lovely to be out, apart from it is bitterly cold. But here on Mablethorpe you are very exposed at the top of a hill. Um, I mean yes, if we fished it down we'd be fishing down the slope a little bit. But we, as you've just heard, we've got two more trips planned for this week. Which then in turn means that I'm going to take a bit of a break off, spend some weekends with the family. Uh, but I think Marcus is a bit enamoured with Mablethorpe. It is nice. I like fishing here. I just, as I was explaining to Marcus on the way down, I just hate the drive down here. I really do hate the drive. Uh, I just find it so monotonous and painful. Um, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It's horrible in summer. But anyway, I'll flick you back onto a time lapse and I'll speak to you either at the end of the session or hopefully with more fish.
quite enough for that time lapsey stuff <coughs> this was and is last cast so <coughs> I'm going to say my goodbyes now and I'm going to pat the camera down it's going to be a bit about speed and efficiency because so we're back out again tomorrow or well, the plan is to be back out again tomorrow the fishing's dropped off I mean it, it does over high over slight water that's kind of standard but the bites have well and truly dropped off now Mablethorpe as a rule does fish very well on the ebb but we're both cold so we got here one o'clock this afternoon is it one o'clock might have even been earlier than that um, did a couple of hours bait pumping practicing bait pumping playing at bait pumping whatever you want to call it because we didn't get any worms uh, and uh, you got a fish on that <laughs> you're a bit happier now It doesn't look like the biggies are here today. We've got the plan is for Suggets Lane tomorrow night, and then Paul on Friday, Paul Cathedral on Friday. Uh, whether it all pans out, who knows? There's me who's a little bit unhealthy. I actually fell down the stairs and have fractured my ankle, um, so that's that's a bit painful, in truth. Uh, so just for that, if you're not subscribed, you really should. <laughs> I told the, told the rest of the lads, the rest of the East Coast, like, oh, East Coast lads, um, that I fell downstairs. And their first reaction was, did you get it on video? I mean, Dad, I don't video myself going up and down stairs. Looks a little dabby to me, mate. But I am a fair way away, but it does look a little see-through. Good, good. Yeah, it is dabby. A little dabby? Yeah. Yeah, I can see through it. It's a dam. Well, it's a fish. It's been nice to be out. It has been nice to be out. So you spend all kitchen cooped up, running around, chasing after kids, cooking massively overly elaborate meals. It's nice to come and just be simple for a few hours. I'm going to leave the throat flapper out, I'm going to bring, down, bring in the other one, pack that one down, and then I'm going to pack the camera down. If there are any more fish, I will insert a, a, a picture of them here. Um, but... <coughs> that's going to be all from me today, guys. So, as always, Stay safe, tight lines, until next time.